construction of mini hydro hydropower and automated vegetable irrigation system in rural areas. In the face of increasing climate change, growing water scarcity, and rising electricity costs, many rural residents have started seeking innovative ways to gain control over energy and irrigation sources. One increasingly popular model is the combination of mini hydropower generation with an automated vegetable irrigation system, which helps save costs, protect the environment, and improve agricultural productivity. I, an idea born from rural challenges. In a mountainous commune where the power grid is weak and unstable, Mr. Trun Van Tum, a young farmer, decided to build a mini hydropower system using a nearby stream, along with an automated irrigation system for his family's organic vegetable garden. His family cultivates nearly 1,000 square meters of vegetables. However, manual irrigation was time-consuming, physically demanding, and inefficient. Frequent power outages made it hard to run water pumps. These challenges motivated him to develop his own independent electricity source and a smart irrigation system. 2. Building the mini hydropower system 1. Surveying the site and stream flow Mr. Tom began by surveying a small stream running through his garden. Though not large, it had a natural slope sufficient to generate water pressure. He measured the water flow rate and elevation drop to calculate the potential power output. 2. Installing pipes and turbine. He installed a 90 mm PVC pipe, approximately 30 meters long, to carry water from the upper stream down to the turbine. A small Pelton turbine was used, housed in a protective box made of steel and plastic. The turbine was connected to a DC generator, 12 volt to 24 volts, salvaged from an old motor. Electricity generated was stored in a 100-hour battery system, and an inverter was used to convert it to 220 volts AC power for household use and powering a water pump. 3. Cost and materials. The total cost was around 7 to 8 million VND, approx. $280.320, including PVC piping, 1.5 million VND, turbine and generator, 2.5 million VND, battery and inverter, 2 million VND, Miscellaneous materials, valves, wiring, frames, 1 million VND. The system produces 100 to 300 watts, depending on the season, sufficient to run a water pump for irrigation and power small household appliances like LED lights, phone chargers, and fans. Hash number three, setting up the automated vegetable irrigation system. One, designing the drip irrigation network. Mr. Tom used a PE 16 millimeter pipe system connected to drip and mist nozzles spaced 30 to 50 centimeters apart. The garden was divided into four irrigation zones, each controlled by electric solenoid valves linked to the water pump. 2. Automation with sensors and timers. An electronic timer was programmed to activate the pump at fixed times, 5 a.m. a.m. and 5 p.m. He also installed soil moisture sensors to detect dry conditions. When soil humidity drops below a set threshold, the pump starts automatically. All operations are powered by electricity generated from the mini hydropower system. Hammer 3. Results and Benefits Each irrigation cycle takes only 15 to 20 minutes, saving over 70% of water compared to manual watering. Vegetables grow uniformly without damage from overwatering. The system runs smoothly even in the dry season without relying on the power grid. Advantages and Scalability Mr. Tom's model of mini hydropower combined with automated irrigation solves key issues of energy and water supply. It reduces labor, increases productivity, and supports safe, sustainable farming. Many local farmers have visited to learn from the model, and some have already started implementing it. The local government acknowledged this as a creative, scalable solution suitable for mountainous and stream-adjacent rural areas. V. V. Conclusion the construction of a mini hydropower system paired with an automated vegetable irrigation system is a breakthrough in applying technology to rural agriculture. It represents a sustainable approach to energy and water management, especially in remote communities. With affordable costs and manageable technical requirements, this model deserves broader adoption and development support in the future.